What is going on, my fellow knights? My name is Mr. No One, and today we are bringing you guys a Modern Warfare Remaster Team Deathmatch. We are playing on the map Showdown. This is one of the new maps. This is from the big, big, big update that just happened. I think it was like almost four gigabytes worth of update. Uh, I believe they ended up putting the Winter Crash, but I haven't played on that one yet. This is actually the first time I've played it since the update, so I was pretty skeptical about it, but I think it turned out all right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, also, there is no music in the background because of this wonderful noise right here. Yep, that'd be it right there. Yes, I love the way the gun sounds. I love the way that the headshot sounds off as well, so that's why I ended up leaving as it is because I feel like Modern Warfare Remaster has the absolute best gun sounds in the games. I mean, Infinite Warfare is okay, you know, Black Ops 3 was okay, everything else was okay, except for Modern Warfare Remaster or Modern Warfare. They always had the best sounds of the guns, best sounds of the headshots and everything like that. It just, it just sounds so full, so freaking wonderful and yet also at the same time it's uh, very nostalgic so that's the reason why i left it like that that's why there's no music in the background or anything like that so why am i playing modern warfare remastered instead of infinite warfare well i feel like i need to change the pace just a little bit uh i haven't really touched this game since i started practicing for cwl atlanta the reason being is because obviously practice comes first and then you know the fun stuff comes after so it was nice to actually pick up this game play for a little bit i played like five or six matches i've done pretty well except for the last match last match i got my butt kicked but that's beside the point who wants to know that anyways i did also uh end up using some of my free points or whatever the the supply drop crate thing whatever it is you're gonna see that towards the end of the video so hopefully you guys stick around and check what i got I also preview one of the characters that i got from it as well so what do i think about the supply drops honestly i hate the fact that there is supply drops i don't care if it's cosmetic only right now point being right now why do i say that because remember in black ops 3 all oh, supply drops are only going to be cosmetic guess what happened and they're putting weapons in there the weapon variants and all this and other sense is coming i know it is coming you know they already have it for infinite warfare why aren't they going to do it for modern warfare remastered you know it's going to happen next thing you know you're going to see a variant of the m16 where it's literally like you shoot them in the toe and they're dead as a matter of fact never mind because in part of this video i will also be killing two guys in the toe with the m16 with one burst you're gonna have to check it out trust me it's mind-blowing on why it's actually happening maybe i blew off the big toe and the big toe decided to leak out everywhere and just instantly killed them or something like that but yes there is going to be weapon variants i almost am a hundred percent sure of it because of the history that's the main reason why i think it is because i know black ops 3 with uh treyarch wanted to keep it pushed back as far as possible until they started bringing out the weapons and the weapon variants and we all know with the other patch update for the black ops 3 you got you know new weapons and new variants i believe no it's just new weapons you know it's going to happen for Modern Warfare Remastered. You know it's going to happen. So there's going to be different types of M16s. There's going to be different types of M4. I'm almost 100% positive. Now, hopefully they prove me wrong. Hopefully I am 100% wrong because I don't want to see variants in this game at all whatsoever. That just pretty much completely destroys the whole thing about this game. Here, here, here. here. This is where I kill him. I'm going to shoot him right in the big toe. Boom. Dead. Oh, I see another one. Boom. Dead. One burst. One burst. That is fucking nuts. That's how powerful this gun is. This is also one of the more reasons why I honestly feel like they need to tone it down just a little bit with the time to kill. Because that is insane. That is so insane. That's why a lot of people, well, at least with my end, that's why I haven't really played too much of Infinite, or sorry, Modern Warfare Remastered, is because of that. The time to kill is completely bonkers. Hopefully they tone it down just a little bit so they could be able to, I don't know, actually have a chance or anything like that. Or even myself have a chance, because if I get shot, I'm dead. Or I'm already basically dead, so I'm, it's just it's just a little mind-boggling for me. But yes, that's what I feel like they completely changed on this game when it came to uh, the original. But, you know, it is what it is. You just gotta go ahead and play with it because honestly this game is going to be completely screwy once these uh, weapons come into the supply drops now if they do decide to keep it cosmetic only i 
I'm okay with that. I'm 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 pretty sure I'm gonna be okay with that because uh, the camo. I did see some of the camos. I thought the camos were actually pretty cool. Uh, other than that, like I just honestly hope they they keep it cosmetic only. They don't put no weapons in there because honestly, it's just it's going to completely kill the vibe of this game. I understand that a lot of the customer base hasn't been born. Okay, hasn't been born when this game came out, so maybe they're into a whole new different type of era or something like that. But here's the supply drops that I promised you guys without a guy. So on the first one, A was all right, roll. I like the fact that you could tell right away what, if you're going to get a rare or a legendary or epic right away just by the color. You know, it just decides on what do you actually get. So I ended up getting a pretty sweet little looking radical. I don't like the fact that it's only for a certain gun or, you know, a certain class of uh, weapon there. The second supply drop, I got two rares. Not too bad. Not too bad. Going forward, you know, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the spaceship reticle, but it is what it is. Uh, the I did get a duplicate, so I, I guess it goes towards the gears or whatever. But, man, you get such little gears in the game. But uh, if you get something duplicate, you get a pretty decent amount. Now, this is one of the best supply drops that I got. This is from a common. So, I got two rares and a legendary, which I thought was pretty cool. So, I, I just leave it at that. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, leave a like. Also, let us know what you thought of the video in the comment section below. What do you think about the whole supply drops in Modern Warfare Remastered? What do you guys think about that? Do you guys enjoy it do you guys think they're gonna put some weapon variants in there who knows let us know what you guys thought in the comment section below if you guys are new to the channel go ahead and click on that subscribe button it definitely helps out the team a ton now if you enjoy what i had to say if you guys enjoy my wonderful voice why don't you go ahead and check out my personal channel it will be in the link in the description as well until then ladies and gentlemen my name is mr no one and i'll catch you guys later peace <music>